Hey everybody, I'm Marcy Newman, your Heart Shift Coach, and I'm coming to you today to share with you a new initiative that I'm beginning right here and right now. You might even say it's sort of hot off the press. It's coming from my heart to yours in this moment. Because as I was planning out my month and planning how I wanted to reach more hearts around the world, what stood out to me was how I have celebrated the International Day of Peace in the past. That International Day of Peace is actually coming up this month on the 21st. Having said that, I realized what a huge jump it might be for people to be able to fully embrace all the opportunities of that day. We are seeing so much unrest around the world, in other countries, but also here in our country. And it's something that we see and we hear and we are traumatized by in so many ways. This unrest, without making any kind of a political statement whatsoever, is an indication of the unrest that is inside of hearts that are being expressed everywhere in various ways. What better month then to have this International Day of Peace, but what better month to really begin to shift our focus into cultivating more of that energy so that we can make every attempt to come back into harmony within ourselves. I know what a jump this can be. I felt it. I felt it as I was going through my planning and thinking, is this insurmountable at this time? And the truth is, is that I don't believe that anything is insurmountable. I believe that when we come together as a collective, when we join together with our hearts and our minds and we take initiatives, we actually take action, that we can not only expand this energy, but we can embrace this energy and allow it to start to show itself in our own lives. And of course, then we can really extend it to others. Some of the things that we know about this energy of peace is that the basis of it is love. And it's an innate love. It's a love that we are created from. And it's a love that we naturally want to experience. And of course, to share because love is never complete without sharing. And so as we move into this time, let us think about peace as an opportunity to love, but also as an opportunity to come back to ourselves, to come back to what we are. We already are love. We already are peace. And I know that it seems like that is so far away. It may even feel like it isn't a part of us any longer. But here's the truth. Peace is never, never separate from us. It's always just waiting for us to come back to it. And so I've decided that for every single day in this month of September, even beyond the 21st, I'm going to be right here talking about peace, helping to cultivate more of that energy, and to give you the opportunity to come here and join me also. So I want to make you two offers. Number one is that if there's a day in your future that you think that you'll want to come on to a Facebook Live and talk with me and talk with everybody that we share this with, about your perspective about peace, I want you to know that this is an open forum for you. Secondly, if you're listening to this and it inspires you in some way and you want to share 
anything about peace that's coming directly from your heart, all you need do is message me. And it'll pop right up, and I'll invite you in. So I'd like to leave you with two things. First is the quote that I put on the heart shift page. And that is about peace being a choice. And it really does come down to you choosing whether or not to be free or to be imprisoned. What peace does is it gives you permission to just let go of all the weight of the world that you've been holding on to. It gives you permission to be free to fully express yourself as love. And it gives you permission to be fully engaged in the collective, connected to other hearts and minds all over the world and beyond in every dimension through embracing this energy frequency that has so much light in it that it brings light into your world and radiates through you. So this energy is one that you can anticipate with delight is going to make its way into your world as you make your way in here. So here's the second thing that I want to leave with you. I am making a peace pledge every single day. And if you'd like a copy of it, by the way, just message me. I'm happy to share it with you. But here's my pledge. I pledge to extend peace into my circle of influence through cultivating my own peaceful heart, my own clear intentions, taking personal responsibility for my thoughts and my actions, taking compassionate action, action that's based on the love that is to be found there in my heart. And I'm taking this peace pledge and I'm passing it through my heart to yours. And so until next time, I hope that you'll think about peace in your own heart, your own life and how you can share it with others. And if you need some inspiration or guidance, just come back here tomorrow and I promise you will have everything you need. So until then, peace in, peace out, and remember we're all here in this together. Much love.